Hello, Nicely family and friends. If you don't know me, I'm Chris Luther. I'm the Communications and Media Specialist for Nicely and AABR. And today I'm going to show you how to use our new family fundraising pages. Now to get started, you're going to have to go to nicely.org slash team nicely. That's nicely.org slash team nicely. And when you arrive at the page, you'll see something like this. In the middle, it will say start fundraising or donate. If you click donate, you can just start donating and give as much as you want. But if you want to start your own fundraising page, click start fundraising. Now you'll see a brief overview of what you're about to go through, but I'm going to walk you through it. So just click next. Here you have to create an account. You can either click connect using Facebook, which will populate some of the information for you, or you click create a new account. Let's click create new account since most of you will do it that way. Here is where you create your new account. You can be an individual or an organization. I'm going to use individual. Here you put in your first name, last name, and since I'm already in the system, I'm going to use my coworker Debbie's email address and add her, but you guys should use your own email address. And a password that should be capital letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. And now I'm logged in. Click Next. Now here is where you choose your profile picture. It'll be a small circle at the very top of your page. So I will choose this picture of my son and my dog picking pumpkins. Give it a few seconds to load. There it is. Also, by the way, I want to point out now, it says AABR up here in the corner. That's because we're using the same system. On the actual Nicely page that you post, it'll be a Nicely logo and not an AABR logo. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load, so be patient. Now here we're on the Tell Your Story page. At the top, you have your fundraising goal. You're not held to this. You can put whatever number you want. You're not going to have to make up the difference or anything, so don't worry about that. But we do encourage you to put a number that you think is achievable and then maybe go a little bit above that. So I'll say for myself $1,000. Now, primary call to action will be the headline on your page. By default, it's set, so set to support nicely. I'll leave it as support nicely for now. The secondary call to action just kind of backs up your statement. So it could be whatever you want it to be, but usually it's about a sentence long. I'll leave it as make a difference in the lives of children with autism. And down here at the bottom is modify this to tell your personal story. We have now as a template for you, it just briefly explains how during the pandemic, Nicely had to divert funds to cover other costs they weren't expecting to cover. And now we need funds to cover the costs that still exist. You can word this however you want to word it. We suggest putting a reason that your family and friends would want to donate to you. What's your connection to the school? Is your child at the school? Is your friend's child at the school? Give a personal connection and a reason why your friends and family should give to you. Once you do that, click Next. Now it says one last step, launch your campaign. While that's technically true, there's a few things I'd like you to do after this just to personalize your page a little bit. For instance, you'll see on your page when you launch it, when you launch it it'll have this generic nicely background. We'll change that to be more personal to you. But for now, click Launch Your Campaign. Now, technically, your page is live. People could come to this page and donate to you. But let's do a little bit to personalize it. Up here in the top left, you'll see it says Edit Page. Click that. Under Edit Page, you can now change your fundraising page name. For instance, I'd prefer it if Fundraiser was capitalized. So Chris Luther's Fundraiser. Here is where you change the background of your page. Click Choose File. I'll choose another one of my son and my dog. If you have a personal video you'd like to share, you can post the YouTube link or the Vimeo link right here. We don't have one right now, so we'll leave that blank. Fundraising goal stays the same. And this is where you can edit your call to actions if you ever want to change it. But for now, we're going to hit Save and Preview. Now, when you get to this page, if it still shows a gray background, don't worry. Sometimes it just updates slowly. Hit Refresh one or two times, it'll be there. And there's my picture. Now let's take a look at some of the other links up at the top. First, we have Send Project Updates. What this is for is during your campaign to update your donors. 
say you've raised four hundred dollars and you're approaching five hundred dollars and you want to let your friends know that you say almost at five hundred let your friends know that'll send an email to all the people who've already donated to you and let them know they should get the word out for you to their friends and family next we have donor ask templates these are just pre-written templates we've written for you. Clearly you should modify them to be your personal story, but all you have to do is just highlight, copy and paste, and you can either post it on social media, you can post it in your emails. It's just a simple way for you to get started sending out messages to your friends and family. Next we have donor thank you templates. This is similar to the previous link, except you send these out after someone gives a donation. And please, please, please thank your donors. You want them to know how much we appreciate them, so anytime someone donates to you, please thank them. It doesn't have to be from this template. It could be your own personal wording, but please thank them. Now over here on the left of your page, you'll see, of course, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and email. This is just a quick way to get your message out there. If you click Facebook, if you're already logged into Facebook, it'll pop open. You just write your personal message there, hit post, and it'll show up on your page with a link to your Nicely page. And of course, it'll do the same thing for Twitter, LinkedIn, and your email. Now, as for the page itself, in the middle, you'll see it says Donate. This is where people donate. They have these different options that are pre-written for them, or they can fill it in themselves. They also have the option of donor frequency. They could donate one time, make it set to be a, one, a weekly donation, a monthly donation, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. And your page has the option to have a donor scroll. So if somebody wants to post a message to you saying, great job, keep up the good work, they post it right there. And when they post it, it'll show up on your page. They have the option to not post the amount, their name, or any information about themselves when they post. And at the bottom, of course, they can do it in honor or in memory of someone. And sometimes people will get your page and just scroll through really fast and miss the first donate button. So if that happens, there's a second donate button. So they'd see this, they'd put in their own number, say 100, they'd hit donate, and then that other screen would pop up. It'd already be filled into the space saying $100, and they would fill this out the same exact way they would at the other donate button. And if you did have a video, it would also show up here right below the paragraph. So just keep that in mind. That's where it's going to be if you have a video. And that's how you launch your Nicely Family Fundraising page. We thank you so much for fundraising for Nicely. When you ask your friends and family to donate, it means so much more than when we ask. So it means so much to us that you're willing to do that. Thank you for fundraising again. Good luck.